All right, budget magic time. Mono white, blink in modern, and oh, this is so risky. If we draw a land, we're on the draw. If we draw a land, we can crack the clue, and then we need to draw another land. I think we just mulligan. Oh God, uh, this is even worse. Just mono three drops. All right, well, this is like our original hand. <laughs> <laughs> we got a land though. Our opponent went to six. Oh, Urza's power plant and chromatic star. Uh, we'll see. Well, let's planes and Thraben Inspector. Only good news is we do have the ghost quarters and a tech edge. So we have five lands that can destroy lands. Not going to be fast enough in this hand though if our opponent can just turn three Tron us. And once they get Tron down, we're going to have a very difficult time competing. Uh, opponent whiffing on a land helps. Well, let's get in with Thraven Inspector. Put our opponent down to 19. Play a Plains. Play Wall of Omens. Draw a card. All right, another Plains is fine. It's not a Ghost Quarter, but it's fine. And our opponent whiffing on a land drop means we might actually have a minute. So let's play the Plains. Get in with Thraven Inspector. Play a Morph. And now if we draw a land, we can just Restoration Angel, Blink a Chroma, and go seriously to town oh uh, I feel a little bad for our opponent all right they get a sanctum so they do have a land and follow-up is a spell skite land uh, flicker wisp also works well let's attack with everything get in for one uh, flicker wisp doesn't work actually because our opponent can redirect a spell skite so opponent blocks let's crack a clue and then cloud shift because that only targets creatures we control Get another planes, pass the turn. Well, this is fine. So we can cloud shift. Ah, opponent draws mana, green mana. That might help them find lands. All right, let's cloud shift. What's behind door number one? <laughs> Our opponent probably has path, which is pretty annoying. Oh, <laughs> surprise Akroma! Does not die to your path to exile because it has bro white and Good game, opponent. <laughs> we got gotcha. ya. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's been a while since, <laughs> since people have seen this combo, so uh, they probably are not expecting it. Planes. Uh, in that case, let's... Well, we're obviously getting in with a Chroma. Putting our opponent down to 11. Our opponent can't Tron next turn, so let's just play the planes, pass the turn. And we can end of turn Resto, Blink Wall, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That still leaves us one point of damage short if our opponent has nothing. Sylvan Scrying, going to get our opponent another land, probably a Tron piece. Yep, Urza's Tower. Plays the Tower. Well, let's dismember Spellskite. Resto, Blink Wall of Omens. Come on, uh, dismember. Another Acroma. Well, let's attack with everything. Put our opponent to one. Face down Acroma plays around Ugin. On the other hand, it plays into our opponent going Tron land. Let's say they get a Sylvan Scrying. Well, if they just draw a Tron land, we're going to lose anyway. Sylvan Scrying, Ancient Stirring, say, 8 mana. That lets them do either Oblivion Stone or... All right, here's the plan. One, two, three. Flicker Wisp. I think we got the plan. Flicker Wisp, Blink Resto. Resto comes in, end of turn. Blinks Flicker Wisp. And then Flicker Wisps, our opponent scooped, but we're going to be able to... Exile a Tron piece for our opponent's next turn, which would mean even if they drew Tron, they wouldn't have access to Tron, and then we win by beating down. Ugin's off the table, Oblivion Stone's off the table, so be aware of that interaction, because Resto, Blink, Get Back, Blink, something else is actually a pretty cool way to disrupt the opponent. All right, on to sideboarding. I don't know if we actually have a Anything super great against this deck? O-Ring is risky because it... Well, we can get Pithing Needle. Um, maybe Disenchant. What's bad? Dismember seems very bad. Condemn seems very bad. 
O-Ring is risky because it gets hit by Karn and Oblivion Stone. Maybe we just bring in those two and try it. Oh, Dismember, though. So bad. I guess we can go up Filgree Familiar over Dismember. Blessed Alliance actually kills an Eldrazi. Yep. Let's try it like this. Ah! Uh all right, I mean, none of our land disruption, but we got a decent curve. One drop, two drop, three drop, and we have those land destruction spells to draw into, so hopefully we draw into one. Opponent passes. We get a cloud shift, so planes and Thraben Inspector. We get a clue, pass the turn. We would love to find a Ghost Quarter, Tech Edge, especially Ghost Quarter because it's faster. Oh no, instant replay for our opponent. O-Ring, well, let's play the land, play Wall of Omens, draw a card. Ghost Quarter, Planes. All right, get in, 4-1. Pass the turn. Oh, no, our poor opponent. There's a Chroma again. Well, play a land, get in with Thraben Inspector. And I guess we just keep the pressure on by playing a Blade Splicer to speed up the clock. If our opponent's going to stumble on mana, our best bet is probably killing them before they can recover. Tron is usually a lot more consistent than this. This is a very, very awkward draw from Tron. Opponent corrects their Chromatic Star, adds white. Does this mean they're going to path something? And, yep, path our token. Well, I guess they figure we already got a ton of lands, so what's the harm? We're just getting a planes. Pass the turn. Opponent gets to draw. Did our opponent still not find a land? Uh, Thraven Inspector will play the planes, go attacking with our 1-1s. Um, well, let's play a Chroma. Play Thraven Inspector, get a clue, pass the turn. Pony has Expedition Map, but not a land, and we get to Cloud Shift a Chroma. Crack a clue. There it is. Well, this feels brutal, but we gotta do it. Ghost Quarter, the Power Plant. Make sure there's no way our opponent gets Tron. Ugh, it, it's pretty mean, but against Tron, what can you do? They're pretty mean, so we can't feel too bad for Tron, although our opponent's draws were miserable, so this wasn't the greatest match, but I lose to Tron so much that it doesn't... I feel bad for our opponent because he's very nice and likes the videos and asked if I was recording, so I feel bad for our opponent personally, but I... I uh, don't feel bad against uh, about Tron. And our opponent scoops it up, so sweet. Well, that was good. All right, budget magic time. Playing some mono white blink in modern. And this is fine. No blinking, but double wall of omens is good. And we're on the play. Only two lands, but walls should smooth out our draws. Oh, well, we have a ghost quarter. Ghost quarter is our best card against Tron. Ooh, and a tech edge. Uh, that's interesting. Let's Wall of Omens, draw a card. Another Wall of Omens. So what we need to be doing is getting down pressure and disrupting our opponent's Tron. Uh, the downside right now is we are missing pressure. Ancient Stirrings. And if our opponent plays a Tron piece, I don't think we can Blade Splicer. There's a Power Plant. Opponent plays the Power Plant. Is that the one they found? Yes. So I think we just need to play Tech Edge, Wall of Omens, draw a card. We get a Cloud Shift. Let's stop on our opponent's upkeep. And we're going to Ghost Quarter the Power Plant. So this means our opponent does not get Tron this turn. It does not mean that they won't have it in two turns. Opponent Sylvan Scrying gets another Tron piece. Gets a Power Plant again. Plays the power plant. Well, we'd like to draw another ghost quarter. We draw a planes. Well, let's just pass the turn. I think what we got to do here is see if our opponent gets Tron and then Tech Edge. So they only get one turn with Tron and then hope that we can somehow survive that turn. It really depends on what our opponent plays, assuming they do have Tron. The good news, yep, all right, there's Tron. So our opponent gets one turn with Tron. That one turn gives them something huge. A World Breaker. Well, World Breaker could be worse. They're going to go after a plane. So one and let's hit the power plant since we already killed a power plant. We're back down to one land. We're going to have to cloud shift, I think, a wall here. 
Well, World Breaker is less devastating than some of the other options. Chromatic Sphere. So let's Cloud Shift to Wall, draw a card. Resto Thraben Inspector. Well, that's not good. Now we're back to being in a lot of trouble. And it's very possible our opponent just draws Tron again. All right, cracks the sphere. Expedition map. So our opponent is going to have Tron again next turn. Plays a Razor Verge Thicket. Gets in with World Breaker. Well, we might as well chump. Our walls aren't doing much, and we have many of them. Well, we could draw another Ghost Quarter, I guess. Well, draw the planes, play Wall of Omens, draw another card. Pocrisite, not another Ghost Quarter. Get in for one. And I think this is probably the end, since our opponent... Well, I mean, when Tron can just keep putting together Tron through multiple land destruction spells, there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. Opponent had Scrying, Ancient Stirrings, 1, 2, 3, Chromatic Stars... So even killing two power plants, our opponent just still always has Tron. And the Karn, and we're going to scoop it up. Not going to keep playing against that. We don't really have great sideboard options. We get a Pithing Needle, maybe a Disenchant, and I I don't even know about O-Ring. Problem is, we O-Ring like a Karn, but our opponent can just replay it. I guess it's still probably better than Dismembers, which are just close to dead cards. And maybe a Blessed Alliance? Try it like that. I don't think this is a great matchup for us. We just don't really have enough tools to do it. Alright, we get to play first. And I don't think we can keep that. Alright, I mean, I guess this sort of gives us a shot. Thraben Inspector, well, we'll keep it. We can play... Oh, that was that probably wasn't good. Uh, planes go. Probably should have put Inspector to the bottom. Power Plant for our opponent. And Chromatic Star. So Planes and Wall of Omens. Gets us an Apocrisite. Pass the turn. So our way of winning is our opponent missing on a Tron piece here. Ancient Stirrings. So if they miss on a Tron piece, we can Acroma. Next turn, Blink Acroma. That's Urza's Tower, though. So no such luck. And a Chromatic Star. Blessed Alliance. Uh, I think we just got to roll the dice. I don't think we win by Ghost Quartering here. So Ghost Quarter, face down creature, pass the turn. We just got to hope our opponent stumbles and does not have Tron in hand. If they have Tron in hand, we lose. If not, next turn we can disrupt Tron and blink a Chroma for a 6-6, six, six, which is actually a way we can win the game before they get Tron again. Opponent, Chromatic Stars. And Sylvan Scrying. So our opponent puts Tron together, but they are not going to have access to tr much mana this turn. Plays the Mine. We get a Restoration Angel. So we Thraben Inspector, get a clue. Get in for two. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Ghost Quarter the Mine. Opponent gets a Forest. Pass the turn. Well, what's our opponent have? Expedition map, so they're going to be able to put Tron back together. And a brush land. Well, we could use a ghost quarter. Eh, let's cloud shift. Get a chroma. Speeds up our clock. Can't be pathed, which is pretty relevant. Not a ghost quarter, so one, two, crack our clue, hope for a ghost quarter. Another a chroma. Well, we get in for a bunch, but I think that's it. I don't think one land destruction spell is going to be enough. Our opponent... Had the ability to put Tron back together. Even on the mulligan. Opponent cracks it. Gets the missing Tron piece. Opponent. Plays the Tron piece. Has Oblivion Stone. And, uh, I mean, I think this does it. We can wait one more turn. See if we draw Tron. But, seems unlikely. Or, draw a way to disrupt Tron. Even if we do, our opponent's been good at putting it back together. Another Resto. And, alright, we'll scoop it up.